Hey guys, and welcome. If you love procedural meshes, this course is for you. Because in this course, we are going to create a jigsaw puzzle mobile game from scratch. We are our first going to lay out the core principles of the game. As to know, making a grid. So we are going to make a grid of objects, then of quads. We are going to apply a texture to these quads to create a sort of puzzle. Then we are going to add control with the input class to move the puzzle pieces. After that, I'm going to show you some cool tips and tricks to manage the Z sorting of the puzzle pieces so that you always pick the top one. Then we are going to add some camera control. Panning and zooming won't have any more secrets to you. To make the game even more interesting, we are going to enable snapping with neighbor pieces. So whenever you drag a piece, you will be able to snap it to its neighbors, create a group and move the whole group of pieces. We are also going to add rotations because a puzzle game without rotations is not a puzzle game in my opinion. And finally, we are going to tackle the big and most important part of the course, as to know procedural pieces. So I'm first going to explain what's the magic behind it and show you how you can leverage the ear clipping algorithm to triangulate any set of vertices automatically. This will be awesome. You are going to learn how to create knobs and holes using splines and trust me, this will give a whole new dimension to your game because it will allow you to create a shop with different shapes for your holes and knobs so that your players can experience a better game. As a little bonus, I'm going to show you how you can leverage the camera of your device or the player's device to be able to take a picture and turn it into a jigsaw puzzle. I'm then going to show you how you can create a gallery so that you can store all of the puzzles that you've made or that your players have made actually. So yeah, if you're stoked about this, let's start the course right away.